Hello, I've got a couple of lovely wooden mallets. These are viewers have made these and sent them to me over the years, but they're so lovely I never actually want to use them for woodworking. They just live on my shelf. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have a go myself at making one. I've got some bits of oak that are left over from when I made those alcove shelves. They're rough sawn, so I'm just gonna put them through the thicknesser to clean them up. First, I'm gonna cut a blank for the handle out of this. So I'm gonna go for four centimeters wide and just rip a piece off this. I'm gonna get this handle cut down to 40 millimeters long and then cut down three pieces for the mallet head. This handle is 40 mil wide, but I want it to taper down to the bottom. So I'm gonna taper it from 40 to 30 mil. So I'm gonna mark in five mil on either side at the bottom and then draw lines going down. To cut the taper, I'm gonna use the bandsaw. The bandsaw doesn't need the cleanest cut, so I'm just gonna give it a few passes with the hand plane to clean it up. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna sandwich this wedged handle in. It's gonna go on the first piece of wood and then a bit's gonna go either side and then a capping piece is gonna go on. But because this is tapered, the two bits that go either side need an angle cut. So I'm gonna get that done on the table saw. I think we're gonna to need to be about one degree. These are gonna to go together now to create a mortise for a handle to go into. I actually went back and recut the angle. It's closer to two degrees than one. I think actually 1.5 would have nailed it, but it's gonna be fine. So now I need to get these three bits glued together. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by the two with the angle on, and then I'm gonna stick some little nails in just to stop them moving around. Now, a third piece can go on. I'm gonna, not gonna put this on with nails because I don't want any nails showing. They're just gonna be the ones that are hidden in the center of this sandwich. So this piece, I'm gonna get clamped into place and we're gonna leave it for a few hours to set. glue's all dry on this now, but it's a bit rough. The boards don't line up perfectly in places, so it all needs a trim. It's too tall for the table saw. I didn't really think of that. So I'm gonna do it on the band saw, just trim the top and the bottom. And then the faces aren't flush either because where I put the internal bits in, they stick out. So instead of just trimming them flush, I'm gonna cut them at an angle. And I think I'll put about 
five degree angle on the ends of the mallet. Got it all trimmed nicely and the angle's cut. You could use a sand down, but before I do that, I think I'm gonna work on the handle a bit. So that goes in, but it does not feel nice in the hand. Those sharp, squared off corners, edges are not good. So I think what I'm gonna do is just mark out where the handle meets the mallet head. And then I'm gonna get the router out and round off this handle. This is so much more comfortable in the hand now. But I think the last bit of finessing it's gonna need is just cleaning up this uh, top piece. So I think I'm gonna use a chisel or a knife and just take the sharp edges off that. I think now then it just all needs a sand down, but I'm gonna do one thing first, it's something I always forget to do, and that's add my maker's mark to this. That's it all done then. So the last job is just to finish it with a bit of bees wax oil. So I'm just gonna get a couple of coats of this put on and left to dry. This is now all dry, so it's just gotta to go together. So all that goes in is the handle drops in from the top and wedges into place. That simple. And then if you ever wanted to change the handle, you can just pop it out. I mean, I might get it in there and just give it a little whack to make it really wedged in there. But yeah, it's all done. Now I've just got to use it in angle on something. So another tool I've made myself I've got those couple of lovely mallets and they're just gonna stay on the shelf as display and this one I'm actually gonna use. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.